of money that corporates have as corporate social uh, corporate social investment so that people can be supported to grow trees within their homes where they can account for each and every tree that they plant and for whatever purpose. It is a very humongous challenge. But if we take it up in an interesting way, it is going to be an interesting subject that everyone is looking forward to plant and grow trees. Whether it is during funerals, whether it is during your birthday or anniversary, whether it is a chama meeting, that we are meeting in a different place, we just come and have fun and make sure that we plant trees and it is the responsibility of the person who whose trees are, whose the who the trees have been planted in their place to make sure that they they grow the trees in the best way possible. Homer Bay County has a forest cover of what we have been told of 2.6, about 2.59, which is 2.6. If it goes much, it's just at about 3%. There needs to be champions, there needs to be volunteers, because the government may not have enough officers to employ to protect our forests. So what is happening in Kenya today, we are growing trees in our own home, but for the purpose of making timber and other things, we go to attack the national forests, which are national assets that must be guarded with a lot of zeal, because that is our livelihood. And unless we do what we have to do, the government may not be able to do what we are talking about and expecting them to do. You can imagine Homer Bay County has got about six forests, which account to about 13,702 hectares. For this to be well protected according to the laid down procedures of protecting forests, you need at least one forest officer or one guard for about 400 hectares. The number of officers that our country has as, as Kenya forest officers can never be enough to protect our forests. And these are only six. There are another additional four that are supposed to be gazetted, but they have not been surveyed yet for us to know. It is the responsibility of every Kenyan to ensure that we do what we have to do. It is the responsibility, and this is a passionate appeal for every Kenyan elected leader to take up the process of tree growing as something that is close to their hearts. This is what is going to improve the livelihoods of their people. This is where we are going to have more water. And it is possible that this country can get into 40% tree cover and forest cover that is more or less the same within a very short time. If we hold our hands together, knowing that we are in a big problem, attacked by climate change that must be able to be dealt with by every individual. We are looking forward that after this 14th September, when, comes the, when it comes to rainfall uh, period in your region, please make sure that you plant as many trees that you can. Take up the number of leaders and people in your family. Calculate your age and do grow trees and ensure that they are surviving all through. The Plant Your Age website, which is plantyourage.africa, gives guidance for every participant to be able to know what they can be able to do, from a child to the old person. With partners like Kenya Forest Service, Kenya uh, Forestry Research Institute, and other partners, we are looking forward to participate to make sure that we change our country. I am excited as a founder of the number of partners who are coming on board. Corporates who are coming to say that we want to be part of this. Political parties that have come to say that we are going to take this agenda forward. Just today, I signed a document with uh, the Green Thinking Action Party that has said that across the country, all their offices, they are going to use them for the campaign of Plant Your Age, uh, Plant Your Age uh, initiative. This is the same with every political party in this country. 
every institution, every individual, let's take the subject of planting and growing trees to the next level. We cannot live in the way that we are living, combated by the challenges that we have, if we don't take up this subject to change our lives. I pray that the growing of trees in Homer Bay County, together with the county government that has been well represented here, together with forestry service and every other person, together with political parties and various institutions that are pledging to make sure that this subject is taken to the next level, appreciating the fact that His Excellency, the President, of every person who understands the language that I'm talking about, and this is what the Plant Your Age campaign seeks, that you help to get other people to understand the importance of what we are doing. If indeed we need oxygen for us to breathe, we have to plant trees. We have to make sure that they grow. We have to ensure that this is a business that can create opportunities for Kenyans and other people to emulate the same because we have done it. Today, we are going to plant 1,881 trees. We choose to plant 1,881 trees because this is the number of all elected politicians in Kenya quoted the issue and his effort in pushing climate change to the next level, this is going to change our nation. Let us take this space, run with it, and make sure that we help to change our country one day at a time.